so I've been confused on this whole situation where people were acting like it was odd. Or at least I watched one video um by black the black conservative perspective and he was acting like it was odd or something with Joe Rogan that he had an issue with Trump or something. Um, as far as everything I've heard about Joe Rogan, it seems like he's a, a Democrat who is just a normal Democrat. It's like, to me, I think it's so weird these days that people don't even realize regular Democrats anymore because they're so stuck in, like, craziness that they can't even see regular Democrats anymore. Like, literally looking at this whole thing, trying to analyze whether this guy is Democrat or not. And someone has to bring up the fact that he supports police officers and the military as reasons why he um, is a Republican or something. Or has something in common with Republicans. And I'm like, I've looked on other sources, and I'm like, um... That, that's got nothing to do with your political party that you think that police should still be around <laughs> or you support your military. Like, what does that quite have to do with whether you're politically going to be a Democrat more so or Republican? Conservative or liberal is more the thing. Democrat or Republican is kind of stupid because um, they're liberal Republicans and conservative Democrats, so that's kind of silly. But, I mean, like, everything that he um, has as far as beliefs, um, his belief system is like a liberal's, okay? And he's a liberal who has voted primarily Democrat. Um, I think he's just not affiliated with either party, but he's a Democrat, basically. So I kind of find it weird why people would act like it's odd that he would have an issue with Trump. Of course, he probably hates Trump. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, he seems like he is one of those type of people who um, is not raging crazy. You know what I mean? Like, when Trump was president, was he raging crazy that he was president? I don't think so, from what I'm hearing about him. And, you know, some Democrats just grin and bear it, basically, you know, and they were calmer about it. Some, you know, of the wacky fringe and of, you know, the liberal wing, they tend to, tended to, you know, have meltdowns and freak outs for four years you know but not every liberal is like that okay that doesn't mean that joe rogan isn't a liberal who hates trump okay he can hate trump peacefully and it seems like he peacefully hates trump and he peacefully is a liberal you know nothing against him you know so I just don't get why it would be much of a shock that he wouldn't want to have him on his show. From what I've heard, he generally has Democrats on his show more than he has anyone that's more on the conservative side of things. By the way, Trump isn't a conservative, just to let everyone know. Um, he's actually a moderate. But people really can't tell conservatives from moderates these days. Because, I mean, we're right now trying to discuss whether a liberal is a liberal or maybe some people thought a moderate because he thinks that police should still exist and there should still be a military, <laughs> which has got nothing to do with, I mean, like any sane person can tell you that there should be police around and um, you should support your military, obviously. Um so, I don't know. To me, I'm just kind of like, it's, this is kind of odd to me. That people would try and ask or think that he's not quite liberal. He is liberal. He's just not crazy. He's a sane liberal. You know, a normal liberal Democrat, basically. That's just not registered. That's basically it. And he says that he's a liberal somewhere there's a quote 
Oh, right here. It says he's been a liberal all his life. So I just don't get it. Like, why do people try and act like it's weird that he said he wouldn't have Trump on his show? If he's a liberal Democrat, why would he want that? Especially right now. I mean, like, Trump is to blame for um, the justices and things of that nature. I know that he had a big issue with that decision. Um, so, of course... I mean, a liberal that's really unhappy with some of the things that are going on because of the after effects of Trump's presidency, I mean, I wouldn't think they'd be happy to speak with Trump right now, nor would I think that they have any favorable feelings towards Trump. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day.